in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a square. Now, these videos are specific to decimals. So the language that I use here to describe the formulas and how to discover how to draw these things might be a little bit different than what you would hear in an algebra class. But there's tons of parallels here in terms of vocabulary and, and methodologies. All right, so how are we going to draw this square? Well, first of all, go ahead and watch my um, videos on how to draw horizontal and vertical lines. That's going to be important. You should watch that first before you watch this. Okay, so like all systems, when we draw, we need an origin. And the origin is over here, 0, 0. Right? This is a point that we know exists in every graph. Okay, and then we have the coordinates, right? The axis X, and we also have Y. So that's important as well. I'm going to erase these. 0, 0. Okay, so the next thing we want to know is where are these particular points, the corners? That's going to be important because each corner is going to tell us when to start and when to stop each line. So let's, um, let's uh, number the x-axis. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did I do it at three? Because that's where that point is, and eight is over here. Let's go here. One, two, three. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay. So let's use maybe red. All right. So we have this line and this line, right? These are both. What? Vertical or horizontal? That's right, vertical lines. So, vertical line, like this vertical line, right, has a general formula, right, of x equals a, where a is one of these values. So, this particular line here, right, has a formula of x is equal to 8. Okay. Why is it 8? So if you do x and y, right, every point that you have here, every single point, will be 8. 8 what? 8, 3. 8, 4. 8, 5. 8, 6. Right? 8, 7. 8, 8. Where do I get these numbers from? Well, this point over here is 8, 3. This one's 8, 4. This one's, let's erase this. This one's 8, 5. This one's 8, 6. This one's 8, 7. This one's 8, 8. See that? That's this list that I have right here. So all of these points, right, have the value x. And then y can be anything it wants to be. But we've already discovered now how to um, manage 8, right? Where does 8 start and where, where does it stop? So we can put curly brackets, right? Those are horrible curly brackets. Can't seem to draw very well. It's going to be x, right? The equation x is going to be bounded by y. Which y values is it going to be? bounded by? Well, the smallest value is 3, which is here. That's the y. And the highest value will be 8, which is this value here. And then we draw these uh, less than signs. And we talked about, if you watched the previous video, we talked about, you know, um, inequalities in terms of solid, line, solid dots, open dots, right? open circles, closed circles. Okay, so this is the equation of this line right here. Okay, so we're done with that one. We need four equations because we have four sides. Okay, 
So let's do the next line that's going up and down, right? A vertical line. We know it's going to be x is equal to some value. That value is 3. And we know that because if we look at each of these points, we'll find that each value of x is 3. Then it's bounded by y somehow. It's controlled by y. In what way? Well, it starts at 3 for y and it ends up at 8 for y. Right? So it starts at 3 and it ends up at 8. And we have to draw the less than symbols. And there, now you have the formula for decimals to draw that particular line. Now, let's go for. Um, let's go for this bottom one, that bottom line. And let me erase this and make this a little more. So this bottom line, right? That's what horizontal or vertical? That's right, horizontal. So we know it's going to be y is equal to something. If you watch my previous videos on on vertical and horizontal lines, you'll know which one, which variable to choose. And so this guy, this bottom line right here, is going to be y is equal to what? Well, it turns out to be, again, 3. Okay. And how would I know that? Well, if you draw the dots right here and do a table, you'll find out. Okay. So x is what? This point right here. What is that? 3, 3. And then the next one over is what? 4, right? This point right here is going to be 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, right? So it's 4, 3. Then 5, 3. Then 6, 3. Then 7, 3. Then 8, 3. Does it stop there? Yeah. It stops right there at 8. So now you see that y tends to be the same number, which is 3. And it's controlled by x. How? What's, well, you start at 3, right? And you end up at 8. You start at 3 and you end up at 8. And then you do the inequalities. And there it is. There's the formula for that one. And for this, form, for this line, the formula is going to be what? Can you do it? Okay, let's see. It's going to be y is equal to what? 8. Uh -huh. And x will will control it. In you know, x is the thing that controls how far the line goes, right? And what value would that be? That's right, three and eight. And again, if you're having difficulties with that, just look at the points that you have, right? Do a table, and then look at what your lowest value for x and the highest value for x and that's right here and here and you get it so a square has four equations okay and it's all based on the cartesian coordinate system it's all based on this zero zero point that zero zero point needs to be somewhere in your drawing so that we can draw these the square 